Okay guys, welcome to part two of kind of my weekly wash day and twist out routine. This part two will be the actual twist out, how I do it pretty much every week now unless I'm like styling it because I want to change up the hairstyle I'm going somewhere but this is every week so anyway in my first video I showed you the wash routine um, at this point my hair is still wet this is after rinsing the conditioner out all I did was flip the shower cap inside out and put it back on top I took the towel down because like I'm not dripping <laughs> from water anymore and it's just gonna keep my hair moist, uh, keep my hair moist instead of it drying out with this towel around it, or if I just let it just be open to the air. So I am gonna go to the back now, and we're gonna start twisting. So I have popped a squat on the floor, and I'm about to get started. Let me tell you about the products that I use every time I do my twist out. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This I have purchased multiple times. Um, I also do the Carol's Daughter. This is the Hair Milk Styling Butter. I think this is my second time getting this. And in fact, I tried it before and didn't like it. And then for whatever reason, I came back and tried it again and I love it. And I, I stick to this. And then this was also something I tried and thought I didn't like originally, but then I tried it again and it is this was up. Um, this is the dough, I don't know, dough, I guess. Mousse Def Texture Foam High Definition Control Mousse. The dough, Mousse, Mousse Def Texture Foam. I think it's like Mousse Def Texture Foam, whatever. Who I don't know. But this was the one that was on uh, Insecure, I think, when um, doggone Issa was in the bathroom. This was in there, and then it was like a big thing all on social media. People wondering about the products. It's sold in Target. In fact, all of these can be found in Target. This one, I have, I have only seen in Target. But these two, I believe, I've seen them in Walgreens. Maybe in Walmart? Maybe. Basically what I do is I keep the hair that I'm not working with inside the shower cap. My shower cap is getting a little used, y'all, because I just hang them up on my little towel rack. So I got to put a clamp to make it kind of hold it better. But anyway, I keep that all under the shower cap and just take out the section that I'm going to be working with. So, this is that bottom section. You can see my hair looks happy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm taking the leave in conditioner. Literally taking like this much of it. And I'm just going to put it throughout the whole section. So, some people, or even me in the past, I used to do like, oh, twist by twist, make sure. Um,. What is it called? The LOC, the lock method. So I still kind of try and apply that same concept. But so my issue with the lock method was the drying time. Again, I don't have all day and night and two and three days for my hair to dry. I don't, I personally don't like to walk around with the twist in my hair. Not saying that I don't, because sometimes I do, but it's not that I feel like some people's be cute, mine don't be cute because they're not at a length where it looks cute and stylish. It just looks like little girl twist. And plus, that's another thing. Like I feel like it makes me look young, and I already look way young. So anyway, I put it throughout my hair and then just brush that whole section. You see how easy it is for me to get through this section. That's because I already detangled whenever I washed. So, and if you haven't seen that first video, I'll clip it to the end of this one. Um, but definitely check it out. But anyway, so that's all the way through. So, I at least do that with the leave-in conditioner. Now, the actual styling butter and mousse, I do put that on each twist just because this is where I'm getting like my definition and hold from. So, I really kind of want that to be on there. And not saying that it's not on there with this, but 
this is just what I do and this it works well for me so I just split the section in half twist up the other one and literally clip it onto the shower cap like that easy so take some of the styling butter small amount of it because again it's a small section and if I'm feeling lazy y'all I, I will take <laughs> all of these products and put them throughout the whole area well more so the styling butter and leave the foam because again like I really do be wanting it to last all week and so um, back to that lock method whole thing so lock method if you have never heard of it is leaving um, oil and cream so saying that for when you put products in your hair that's the order that you put it in well the oil part to me what was what was like making my hair although my hair was moisturized um, I did feel like it was very shiny or they had, let me correct myself because moisture doesn't come from per se those products those products more so hold the moisture and moisture comes from water um but anyway and those oils just seal the water into your hair it's kind of like putting a coat on your body so that's what it does but anyway as you can see look i'm just too strained twisting and as i'm talking I'll go back to actually how I twist, but it's kind of the same kitty twist probably your mama, your grandma, everybody else used to do. But um, anyway, so my issue with the lock method, like I said, was that whole drying time thing. Oh, see like this section? I want to take this whole top section and use the styling butter. And I just put it really all the way down the hair. I guess it would be better to focus on your ends so that they're not like dry and crusty. But I just feel like by the time you're brushing and everything, it's gonna comb through your hair. Like it's gonna make it to where it needs to be. So, and then taking some more of that foam. And kind of doing it in small rolls that uh, saves time too. You do it in the roll and then just hurry up and twist it. Um, versus like trying to do each little individual twist putting product. Because that might just take more time. But anyway. So um, back to the lock method. So I found that like the leave-in, of course you're going to do a leave-in conditioner, but the oil, it was like taking so long for my hair to dry. Issue number two was I couldn't quite understand the whole going under the hair dryer, like if I wanted to sit under the hair dryer. Um, sitting under the hair dryer after putting oil in my hair because it just seemed like I would be frying my hair. Like, you know, like fried chicken or something. Like, <laughs> And I just still kind of don't get that concept, So, which is why... If I know that I'm about to sit on a hair dryer, and even in general, like just drying, I don't do it because, to be honest, most of the products have enough oil in it to me for it to be all right. So I'm not, I don't add more oil to it. But then again, I don't know, maybe my hair miss oil, but guess what? It's just gonna miss it because most of the time I ain't got time for that. Um. And also, by me being pregnant, that was another issue with the oils. And see, just that quick. I finished this section. I just did three of them. So anyway, come over here take the other one now. But by me being pregnant, that's another thing. Like, certain oils you're not supposed to use. And it can cross over to the baby. And some stuff is harmful to the baby. I don't have time to be looking all that up. Like, what works and what doesn't work for pregnancy. So... I don't know. I just kind of, I did ask my doctor about it and I did tell my, um, my OBGYN that, you know, I use natural hair products and stuff. So any suggestions, because a lot of them have, like even this black vanilla, oh, that was my stuff, my shampoo and conditioner. The black vanilla stuff is lavender. And, you know, I've heard them talk about, uh, 
lavender with little boys and I guess it causing uh, female attributes to develop and all of that um, and I don't know how much research has or has not been done but either way with the seed bacon in my oven I did not want to have my baby to be messed up in any kind of way because of something I didn't put in or on my body so oh um, but I'm having a girl so we straight <laughs> So anyway, and you see I kind of run my fingers through the hair so that the foam really gets in there. Brush. Because I really want it to be like smooth and not uh, knotted. Because that's just going to make it bad when you have to take your hair down. But anyway, and it's just uh, wrapping the hair around each other. And then doing a little twirl at the end to kind of make it curl. So in the back, I do this mostly um, because my ends, you see, they're kind, of, they're curly. In the front, where the blonde is at, that's where is the ends are more straighter because of like the heat and processing and all kinds of stuff, whatever. So it's kind of like transitioning hair that I'm not cutting off. Like I will trim it little by little, but I'm not cutting it off. So, I will show you the process that I do with that. I'm just going to twist up this section and I'll be back with that area. Okay, so I have the back twisted on both sides. And now this is just the front that's left over. So, still doing the same thing I did before with the leave-in conditioner. Just throughout the whole thing. And then you can just decide where you want your part to be at. This is the only time I use really a right tail comb. And I always end up doing mine. What is this? My right on my right side. And to be honest, I'm not really worried about these little baby hairs because I can just do style that um with some edge control when it's actually dry. So but I twist the section I'm not using. And clamp it. Okay, so I did recently get my ends trimmed so they don't look as stringy as they looked before. But I'm going to just twist it and we'll get down to the end and see what it looks like. Because sometimes, I don't know, whenever I twist it and put it all together, sometimes it'll like just hang on the end. And that's why I apply the rollers, as you can see on some of them. Some of them that... The ones that didn't need it because it made a full little curl at the bottom. I didn't put it, but if I if it looks stringy, then I put the roller. And that is a great trick for transitioning hair. Also, I kind of like the curl that it gives my my twist out. Um, Cause like, you know, with the big hair, it's like, and then at the end you got like these big random curls here and there. I don't know, I think it's pretty. So I like to add that. So a few of them, it gives a little variety throughout the hair. Alright, so, well, yeah, so I leave the ends, like, untwisted. Okay, and then I just roll it a few times around, and that's it. Now, the only thing with drying, I find, find that this takes a little longer to dry so if I'm sitting there for like an hour or so um, towards the end of the hour I'll take the rollers off so that it can like fully dry all the way through and well I say fully dry but most of the time I don't let it fully dry under the hair dryer I like dry for an hour and then I go to sleep but I don't have time for that today so I'm gonna have to really sit there until it's dry okay so here's an example of those straighter ends I'm talking about like see that and although like as it dries it may like curl into a wave but that doesn't hold over long so that's why I end up putting the rollers on these little stringy pieces this is just an up close view on how I do this And I try not to let the hair overlap on the roller, really. 
as long as I can get the ends to stay on there. So that way it can dry faster. And you just clamp that on. Like so. It just looks so healthy and happy and shiny. <laughs> okay, so everything is all twisted. Now, and as I said, it just looks so healthy and happy. I'm really happy with the shine from this. This one, you know, your hair gonna be popping when it's down. I'm going to another the hair dryer. And then I'll be back to show you the takedown process and the final results. Okay, so this is me taking down my hair. And when I say I absolutely loved these results. Now, mind you, again, I do do this every week. I don't know if it was because I was recording or if it was because, like, it's around my birthday or whatever. But this hair, it was, like, extra, extra popping, okay? Again, I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to catch videos like this. If you go on my page, you can see I have different playlists created. So you can just jog through those playlists, see different sections and categories. Make sure you check out part one of this. I have a link to this video. And as always, turn your lights on.